So at this point, we've almost renovated all of Sam Maishino apartments because we are on the biggest apartment streak ever. And today we are doing another penthouse. And this one, I really like a lot more than the last one, which took forever to renovate. So today we are renovating the Fountain View Penthouse Maxis lot. This one's in the art district and it's actually pretty cool. Like I love the existing lot that's up here. Want to change the roof. I want to change the windows only because these windows are blue and not clear. And it frustrates me so much that they're blue. Why did they have to do that? I would use these windows all the time if they weren't blue. I know there's actually CC you can use um, where they've just been made clear. So that's always an option. But anyway, the floor plan in this place is there's a lift, the rubbish, trash, rubbish, trash, trash bin, rubbish, whatever you want to call it, the mailbox. And then you walk out into this very bare apartment you know there's one beautiful bed traditional windows on the side factory windows at the front nice big kitchen it's kind of waiting to be moved into and i actually don't mind this like i kind of like that it's quite blank to work with stunning view okay i'm totally lost where did the house go oh here it is it's got a really cool balcony uh really on both sides so that's pretty much it and if we look from above you can see next to the kitchen there's this really strange bathroom and i think it's strange because the bathtub like faces outwards and wait maybe i did that it is possible the toilet isn't up against the wall or that might probably have been me but um yeah i would already make that little that little change so yeah i guess the major things i would like to change is probably the blue glass, more furniture and rooms to this. Like, I feel like this could be a three bedroom home. And I actually think it'd be cool to add a second story up here, like a mezzanine level or something. I don't know. I just feel like it looks like it could be a bit taller and I would get rid of this roofing. I know it's to mirror one of the buildings around here. Oh yeah, it's to kind of mirror this building, I think. But when you look at all the other buildings, they've all got flat roofs and like aircon units on top of them. So I feel like that's going to look a little bit more realistic. Unlike the last penthouse we renovated where it didn't match anything beneath it, this one, like the windows do match really nicely. The only thing is that I feel like this three window should be replaced by a double window to perfectly match. And I want to change all of these lights and the kitchen, but kind of keep the similar inspiration that we've already got here. All right, so first up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out this entire apartment because this needs some help, okay? And I'll admit the first time I tried to renovate this apartment, which was yesterday, I literally was trying to renovate this for half the day and it just wouldn't happen. I was trying to keep the lift exactly where it was and kind of change like very minimal things about the floor plan. Like I was trying not to delete the walls. I was trying to only add walls, but the lift placement was just so bad. Um, and I couldn't do it. So in the end, I decided, you know what? I'm going to sleep on this. I'll enjoy having another go tomorrow. And that's why if you watch my videos as they come out, that's why there was no video today. Cause I kind of rage quit. No, I didn't rage quit. I peacefully quit the game in rage. <laughs> So yeah, I basically decided when I came back to be a bit more creative, I guess, and a little bit more loosey goosey and just go to town, you know, just delete the whole floor plan, start again, but keep a lot of the shape as is. So we didn't do a complete bulldoze, but we're, we're playing around with the shell a little bit. And I just want to make it look a little bit more realistic, push the industrial feel of it a little bit more. So we're going to be adding like industrial pipes to the outside and um, a staircase going up to a rooftop garden, which will be really nice, things like that. And I actually looked at some pictures of penthouses in Soho for inspiration because there's some really cool penthouses. Um, one of the ones I looked at was owned by Zane from One Direction, I think. He, oh my gosh, his penthouse, which he has now sold, I don't think he had it for very long in Soho, was gorgeous. I mean, if you guys have a look at it, I'm not a huge fan of the furnishing of it, but the actual space, I was like, oh, it would be an absolute dream to live here. And I'm pretty sure it was worth like $10 million. So yeah, maybe not in this lifetime, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. It was absolutely gorgeous. So that was a big inspiration for this. So much so I actually took the idea from the floor plan 
You know how I've put these two beds down in new bedrooms and there's boxes at the end of them. Those boxes are going to be bathrooms. And I actually took that idea from the Zane apartment, I'm going to call it, or Soho penthouse, because it's quite clever when you have these really big penthouse buildings, they have windows all around the side, but not in the middle. So sometimes if you start building bedrooms and bathrooms along the windows, you have nothing to put in the middle. So you're better off having some corridors in the middle. So building the bathrooms towards the middle is actually such a good idea and something I don't usually do. So I did that and I'm really happy with how that turned out. And the other thing is, I know some of you guys might be thinking, why are you putting such a big platform on half the penthouse when you could have like made that into even more bedrooms. The reason why I've done that is because in a in the last penthouse we just renovated, the really big one, I found in my game, I'm playing on a lower end computer at the moment because it's James's old computer. I found it lagging. And I know in the comments, heaps of you guys said that lot lags so badly for me. So I was thinking, let's try and keep this a lot a little smaller just for playability so if you want to download and play in this it's not going to lag as much because the bigger the build is the more power it's going to use from your computer and i thought let's just keep it a little smaller and of course if you want to download it and expand it and tell certain stories in it in your sim gameplay or complete certain challenges go for it but we're just going to start with it a little bit smaller but in saying that it's still going to have three bedrooms, actually the mezzanine level upstairs, which will be a gym, could be a fourth bedroom. There's four bathrooms. So it's not a small house, like there's plenty of room. It's it's a big step up from the studio apartment it once was. And I love this kitchen area. You guys know I love a galley kitchen. I This is one of the things I do the most. I just find it to be such a good way to use space, especially in this apartment it just works really nicely and I really enjoyed using the what do you call them columns and spandrels from the werewolves pack here the werewolves pack has really good industrial elements so does the mosquito pack where the windows are from we got some industrial things and in get to work we got some industrial things in city living so and the industrial kit so there's actually a lot of industrial elements we're taking from different packs even get famous the brown bricks um, I liked having two different bricks because it kind of looks like two, either two buildings were combined or they had, which I guess wouldn't really make sense on top of this building, or they built these two sections separately and then they were put together or one was expanded. Um, I like that the bricks don't quite match. So that is deliberate. I, I deliberately made it that way. I mean, alternatively, to make it look a little bit more glamorous, I could have made one side like completely crisp white, which does occur a lot in New York City. Um, the dramatic like white exteriors with black warehouse windows is really cool. Um, yeah, I thought we'd just keep it more rustic for now, a little less glamorous because we, we do a lot of glamorous apartments, I feel. Actually, speaking of which, what kind of apartment should we renovate next? Because I have a feeling we might be doing more apartments. Um, yeah, we're basically renovating the whole of San Shuno now. So <laughs> if you guys have any apartment requests or apartment styles you would like to request, sound off in the comments down below. These are our little en suites, the rectangles above the en suites are where the wardrobes go from get together. I would love to see more wardrobes. I'm surprised get together is the only pack that actually has those built in wardrobes. So hopefully we get more of those soon, like some really nice modern, clean, versatile ones would be great. Um, so I hope to see more of those at some point. And Oh yeah, the dining table. Originally I was going to do like a more normal dining table, but I just thought the industrial vibe of having a bar table was kind of cool. I mean, in real life it would drive me absolutely nuts because sitting on stools is really not very comfortable. So if you can avoid it in real life, I would, but just for the look of it in The Sims, like The Sims don't mind as far as I know. They don't get sore backs. Oh, what happens if they do and we just don't know about it? Oh my gosh. I'm becoming too attached to my Sims. And I also put in that tiled um, console table, hallway table from the pastel pop kit in the kitchen, kind of in the middle, like a little mini island. And I just thought that was a bit of fun, you know, mix it up a bit. 
In terms of the color scheme, it's pretty earthy. I wanted to uh, stick with that industrial theme by, you know, still having muted colors and browns and metal colors. But then I softened it a little bit with some teal to kind of cool down all the warm tones. So you'll see a few teal colors pop up soon. And we do make one of the walls teal as well. I was tempted to just go white walls, but I thought, you know what, Dolly, you gotta give the people something, you know, you gotta give them something different. So we do go with teal walls. And um, yeah, basically the furniture, I wanted it to be a little bit mismatched, a little bit lost and found maybe, but still in a very high end, tasteful way, I suppose. Love that tree from Seasons. It's so green and lush. I love it so much. Then we have the ceiling ducts, like the aircon ducts. I think that was from, <gasps> where was that from actually? That must have been the industrial kit, right? The lights are from, <gasps> oh God, it's testing me now. Where are those, where are those wall lights from? I'm gonna have to check it. Otherwise it's gonna drive me nuts. Cause I remember when we got those wall lights, I was so excited and I use them all the time. And I can't believe that I can't even remember where they're from. Um, upstairs, I just turned that into a gym area. Like that could be anything. Maybe I should have done a home office there because I feel like that might've been more useful for more players, but hey, it's an easy change and it's fun if you, you know, change it up yourself as well. All right, so these lights, are they from Stranger? They are from Strangerville. They are. I knew that. I knew that. And of course, the curtains, which we love, are from the Desert Lux Pack, which I would get the Desert Lux Pack just for those, those curtains. I've used them in every single build, I think, almost. They're just a good time. Speaking of Desert Lux, this outdoor area is all Desert Lux here. And I love this, this like rooftop terrace. I guess technically it's not like on top of the top roof, but it's still a rooftop. So, you know, I feel like it still passes at that. I put some trees on there as well because I thought the trees were really pretty. And of course is the best contrast to industrial areas. And then this bed, we have a little bit of fun in this bedroom with like color. I'm going to end up choosing a yellow bedspread for this bed just to make it a little bit different. But I do think like just... Plain white bedding would have worked too. Um, but yeah, damn, I really love this. I really love this apartment a lot, a lot. And I hope you guys like it too. Also the wood stuff behind the bed head that is from Get Famous. That is something I've been using a lot recently because I saw it in an interior design magazine, like the same kind of, I don't even know what it is. It reminds me of stage wood which probably makes sense because Get Famous, we had the acting career. So it probably is meant to be used as like a stage wood and the flooring we got in that pack is also like a stage flooring. And yeah, it's kind of cool. It also reminds me of that trend at the moment where like you put panels on your wall with frames around them. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I don't know the official terms for these things, but that's like a real trend at the moment, having like squares, you know, that are slightly inset. I don't know if any of you guys will know what I'm talking about, but it's pretty cool. And then this bedroom is purpley, dusty, pink. I love it. Those are snowy escape items and they're pretty cool. But yeah, I would love to hear from you guys what kind of apartment renovation you would like to see next or build. I'm going to be looking through these comments and really writing down ideas. Um, and also for you members who, uh, okay, so I messed up the names of members at the end of the videos. I realized a few of you guys were saying, hey, Deli, my name's not coming up. I'm on the higher tier. And I went back and I fixed the issue. So if you are a higher tier member, your name should definitely be at the end of the list because I updated it today. So if you are a member as this video posts, your name should be there. So hopefully that's all fixed now. Um, I tried to quadruple check. Love these curtains so much. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like this turned out really good. Also, I still get questions sometimes whether or not I'm using custom content for this build. There's no CC. Uh, this is all Max's stuff. So that's cool. Um, I'll let you guys know if there's CC in builds. I'll definitely tell you before the video is. But recently I've been doing like select custom content if I build with it. So it's not overwhelming to download lots of different CC packs. So 
I'll usually like focus on one pack or focus on a couple of creators in the CC world. So it's just a little bit easier. That's a high school years um, dresser, which we love. We love that. Also, I think I'm gonna get my nails done. And this is kind of a big deal because I am so impatient, like sitting down to get my nails done. I'm like, I can't tip tap. I can't fidget because my nails are being, you know, that they, they're being done. So I really struggled to get my nails done. Like, and I, I got in trouble because I asked people like, why do you like getting your nails done? Because I don't understand it. Like, I genuinely don't get it. Like, do you enjoy the process or do you just like having them done afterwards? And I got in trouble for asking that, which I didn't mean to be offensive, but I was like wondering. Anyway, I've decided my nails are, they need some help. So I'm gonna go and I'll let you guys know how it goes on my Instagram or something. And uh, then once I have them done, I'll have to go back to either get taken off or redone. So we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to take care of myself, do something nice. So we'll see if I can enjoy the process. Um, Cause in the past, I definitely have not. I'm such a big fidgeter, like I'm always fidgeting. Uh, all that anxious, nervous energy, go, go, go. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys relate to that, but um, yeah, that's me. That is me. Also, I've been getting back to the gym. I feel like I'm getting into that routine again. I really struggled with that routine over Christmas, New Year's. I, I had like a full month and a half where it was just in a shambles. So it's good to be getting back into it again. And the mental, the mental health does improve from that. So that's good. That's pretty much the updates from me other than what's going on in the build. And this room, I turned it into a kid's bedroom. I did see a few of you guys asking for some more like kid theme bedrooms, gearing up for growing together coming out, which, you know, I'm sure we're gonna be having a lot of kid bedroom content for sure. Uh, so I decided I'd, I'd make another kid's bedroom here. This bedroom was actually originally going to be the main bedroom, but I misjudged the size of it. And this is why folks, I always put in furniture whilst building so I know it's gonna fit in because the times I don't do it it doesn't fit and then by the end of the build I'm like I can't I can't change this now <laughs> so um yeah the main bedroom's on the other side and this ended up being a really nice kids bedroom really nice colors it's got like a super strong color scheme of that beautiful sea blue shall we say and coral color that wallpaper's getting a lot of use lately it's kind of like the go-to at the moment and I love, love those Moschino windows. Moschino is a great pack for um, windows for sure. And the industrial kit. Was it an industrial kit or industrial stuff pack? Kind of getting to a stage where um, I forget. I'm like, wait, was that a kit? It was, it, it must have been a kit for sure. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I'm just playing around with things. I love that high school coffee table as well. It's like got that iridescent rainbow look to it, which is really cool. And I think works beautifully in this bedroom because it brings up both the blue, the coral color, and then colors in between as well. So that's nice. And then this floor plan is actually quite nice because we have a couch being put in, uh, oh no, a chair being put in on the other side of the couch, which is underneath the bunk bed. So there's actually this little lounge space in the room. It's like a mini house in there, <laughs> which is cute. And I think I have mascara in my eye. So if you're wondering why I'm blinking my eye, I don't know if you guys are even looking at the face cam right now. You're probably like, I'm focusing on the build. Girl, the eyeball is okay. It'll be fine. Oh, I think I got it. It's good. I imagine if I watched this back and my eyelid was like flicked up, I'm like, oh, it's good. I got it. And you guys are like, Dally, what have you done? It's all good. I remember in school, there used to be some of the kids that would like flick up their eyelids as their party trick and be like, look what I can do. And I was always like, whoa, I don't know if you should be doing that right now. It creeps me out. Ah, oh, Kids and their tricks they used to do at school. And then you would try and do the tricks and you're like, yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> this is dangerous to try myself. I was always the kid who couldn't do any of the daredevil stuff. Like I couldn't hang upside down on the monkey bars. I was like, I'm not doing that. I, uh, I tread very carefully and touch wood. I haven't broken any bones or anything. So 
damn it, I shouldn't have said that because now I'm worried I'm gonna jinx myself. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. No, I'm really nervous. No, I'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, this room turned out really cute. And then last of all, what do we have to do? We've done the lounge, the kitchen, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the outdoors, the gym. Honestly, don't know what we have. Oh, the last room, yes. So the window sunroom could definitely be a lounge room. Uh, but this I decided to turn into an art studio. We did this in our last build or maybe the build before and I really liked that idea. So I thought I'm gonna do it again because this is a warehouse apartment. It would be great for a musician, any of the arts, writer, Sims, YouTuber, streamer, uh, heck, turn it into like an epic kids room or playroom. You know, so many things. A greenhouse, we could have done a greenhouse, but yeah, I just decided to do another studio because studios are pretty cool. And that heater that you might've seen in the background, that's actually from vampires, I believe. So that's like a little, a little hidden gem, that one. One of those items in packs that you're like, damn, I really like that, that can be really useful. And that just adds to the older warehouse style of apartment, I think really nicely. Yeah, I think this turned out really good. I'm really excited to walk through it in just a second. I put a fruit bowl on top of this table as if you're painting it from the easel and then the lights there to kind of shine on it. Um, and you can get something like that from the buy or build catalog, I think if you use debug mode, but I just, I just created it ourselves because I saw that in a Max's build and I was like, hey, that is a cool idea. I like that a lot. But anyway, guys, we shall check out what the final product looks like and let me know in the comments down below what you think. Alrighty, you guys, here is the finished apartment and I hope it looks like it blends into the building nicely. It looks a little bit different, you know, like it's um, definitely, in my opinion, a bit more realistic looking and I love this sunset. And uh, you can see here, I didn't actually use all the space because I felt like it looked more realistic to have some parts that weren't built on. Now I'll admit this side of the building, I didn't match the windows because I just wanted to use these windows so badly. And oh, it looks like the exercise machine is poking out the side there, my bad. But yeah, isn't this gorgeous? Like, oh, to live here would be so cool. And then this is the balcony on the other side. Anyway, let's have a look inside. The entrance is a little different. We don't have the full elevator room. It kind of goes straight up into the apartment. I think it looks pretty cool. So if we travel down this way, we go to the dining area. So it's got double height ceilings, very cool. Some quirky art and sculptures. This is the galley kitchen we were talking about earlier and it's all like industrial metal. And then it's broken up a bit by the cute middle table there. If we go back this way, this is our lounge. Lounge, sounds so Aussie. And I quite like this room. It just looks very cozy. And it's kind of cozy because this section doesn't have the double ceiling. And it's got the lower ceiling, so it does give off a cozy vibe. It's got the greenery out the window. Let's go out onto this balcony. So this is the smaller balcony. It's got a barbecue and a table for your Sims and some planters for that skill building. And then up there is a mezzanine level. And this is our gym. Pretty cool. This could definitely be a bedroom or an office. It does have a wardrobe and a nice uh, bathroom in here too. All right, so heading back this way. So this is the first bedroom, cute, lovely light. Then that's looking down the other way. And in my mind, this is the main bedroom next door. And they have basically the same ensuite. Lovely golden yellow color. Got everything you need, wardrobe, ensuite. Love that. Under the staircase here. This is the kids room, so fun. This is, this might be one of my favorite kids rooms. I don't know, it's simple, but it's just really cute. And they have their bathroom, which has a bathtub. Because kids probably need bathtubs. And then last of all, we go to our studio. And this is a little hectic down here, but it really does look like an art studio. They have another toilet back there. So that's kind of like the guest toilet. And this is pretty cool, pretty cool. And then out here, you've got some sun lounges, nice table to sit at. And then there's a staircase that goes up to this really stunning little seat area. And man, I'd love to sit up here with a cup of tea in the morning, oh, so nice. And if you wanted to, you could definitely make this accessible from the inside. I thought it was just kind of cool that you'd go outside and walk up, I don't know. 
just that warehouse feel, but all you'd have to do is extend that platform across uh, and put a door there. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like it. So a huge thank you to my members who hopefully are shown on the screen right now, the top tiers. Thank you. And to all members for all of your support, all of you guys commenting, liking the video. Um, thank you for subscribing as well. Welcome if you're new. Just thank you for all of the support, you guys. It means the world. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Dag, dag.